The Okanagan Valley is one of the most beautiful places in the world. Home to five main lakes, the region is enjoyed by both tourists and locals for fishing, swimming, boating, photography, and more. For many, the lakes are considered an essential part of Okanagan life. These lakes and other water bodies are worth protecting. But all of this is at risk. The threat of invasive mussels grows every year. Our beautiful beaches and our way of life could be changed forever. Zebra mussels and the closely related quagga mussels are small and live in freshwater. They are aquatic invasive species in North America, meaning that they are not native and can cause damage to the environment, the economy, and human health once established. Adult zebra and quagga mussels are usually cream colored with darker colored bands or stripes. They are microscopic at birth and adults are typically smaller than an inch. Zebra and quagga mussels are originally from Eastern Europe. In the mid 80s, they arrived in North America in the ballast water of ocean liners. And since then, they have spread across the continent through the waterways and overland on trailered boats. Every year, they spread increasingly closer to the Okanagan now as close as Manitoba in Canada and Montana in the USA. Zebra and quagga mussels can be spread between lakes by contaminated watercraft, boat trailers, live bait wells, and even fishing gear. Adult zebra and quagga mussels can attach to virtually any solid surface. The young mussels float in water for the first month, so they will naturally move into lakes and rivers, and can be moved unknowingly in bilge or ballast water or live wells. Um, these mussels really, I mean, not only are they going to really, you know, completely destroy our beautiful beaches in the Okanagan, but they will actually drastically change the entire um, ecosystem in ways that we don't want it to be changed. I mean, really what these things are going to do is they're going to filter out and pretty much starve the lake of all the plankton and nutrients that's a very vital part of the overall food chain, which is required for, you know, our game fish. We have some very high-priced real estate, as you may know, on Kalamalka Lake and on Okanagan Lake here in Vernon. So if we were to get uh, invasive mussels, then it would really destroy some of the value of that real estate. I mean, I know it's not all about real estate, but a lot of people have invested a lot of, um, of their life earnings into their properties. If we don't actually do something about it now before they come, it will be irreversible. There's no way once the mussels have um, infested your lake that you can go back. So well, we're located right next to the beautiful Kalamalka Lake. Um, it's one of our drinking water resources. So just even being a community member and a, a business um, owner next to a lake, invasive mussels would devastate us. People would hesitate to come to a beach that's covered in razor sharp mussels. Uh, the boating community would be affected uh, just simply with buildup of uh, mussels on the bottom of boats. The uh, intake, cold water intakes that cool motors on power boats and those, those intakes uh, would very easily become plugged. I've seen that evidence uh, myself water treatment plants are affected, filtration systems are affected. Private homeowners are using the lake again uh, for water intake. Uh, their filtration systems become clogged and have to be replaced. So the, the prospects are daunting. It could cost the Okanagan up to $43 million if invasive mussels were to come here. However, the value of our ecosystems, our water quality, and the beauty of our lakes is priceless. Everyone should care about this problem because it would affect everyone. So, how do we stop invasive mussels from getting into our lakes? I think when, uh, one thing that all of us anglers can do is every single time we pull our boats out of the water is that we follow the simple process of cleaning and draining and drying our boats, but also understanding what steps we need to take if we do find one of these. And the first step is simply by calling the wrap line. Prevention is much better than trying to find cures for it later on. We need to start talking about it more. We need to spread education about this. So, how can we all come on board together. There needs to be more education so that we can advance our inspection systems and uh, make sure that we catch every boat that comes in because it's only going to take one. Everyone who owns watercraft must remember to always clean, drain, and dry their boats before traveling to new lakes. Ever spot what you suspect may be an invasive mussel, make sure you report it to the wrap line.
If you are traveling with any type of watercraft in or out of British Columbia, always go through a watercraft inspection station located on all major highways along British Columbia's borders with Alberta and the USA. The best way to prevent invasive mussels from getting into our lakes is if we have legislation that requires all watercraft entering British Columbia to report for an inspection prior to launching. The only way this is going to happen is if we all come on board together. Call or email the Premier of BC, relevant BC and Canada ministers, or your local MLA and tell them that you want to see immediate action on the issue of invasive mussels. These lakes are our home and they are worth protecting. Help us stop the spread of invasive mussels. 